Hey guys, Caleb Wistead here, Hooked Up Wisconsin. Today's video is designed to help you understand how to pick the right tungsten ice fishing jig based on color. So the video you're about to see is part of another video in which I break down every single aspect of a tungsten jig from size, weight, hook, color, shape, you name it. So if you wanna watch that video, click on the link right here. Now, I know you came here just to see one particular aspect, so let's hop into that. Just before we do, I'll let you know, I did leave a link in the description box below to all these jigs to help you find them if you wanna get one. So let's hop into it. All right, let's get into one of the most fun things about these jigs, and that is color. Color can be totally overwhelming. Uh, there's uh, every color you can possibly imagine out there right now. I'm holding uh, an epoxy drop, a dingle drop, a snow drop, and a swirl drop, and they're all totally different colors and they're very similar jigs. The swirl drop, as a matter of fact, is basically in a category all its own just because of the color patterns on them is, are so unique. What I like to do when it comes to color is break color down into seven different categories. Category number one would be your solid natural colors. Category number two, you're looking at your pattern natural colors. So like your perch colors, your bluegill colors, your minnow colors. And then we get into more vibrant colors. So your solid vibrant colors is, is number three. Your pattern vibrant colors is number four. And then we've got glow, we've got UV, and we've got your silvers or flashy colors. Those are the seven categories that I like to break it down into. Outside of that, you can go infinite directions with the patterns and colors and things like that. But those are your basic seven. So application, we're gonna go number one, solids, gives the profile a nice clear outline. Natural colors, it's gonna be great in clear water. Pattern natural colors, you're gonna get a little bit more of a, a bait fish imitation. And it's, not, it's gonna break up the outline of it a little bit, make it a little more fuzzy. The same thing goes for your solid and patterns in vibrant colors, except you're gonna have your chartreuses, your oranges, um, you know, bright purples, stuff like that. It's gonna be better for you in cloudy water uh, or low visibility conditions. Um, <clears throat> and then getting into our glows, obviously nighttime, hard to beat glow. You're gonna stick out, obviously, with glow at night. But glow during the day can be underestimated as well in really dark, dingy water uh, or super cloudy days, lots of snow cover on the ice. Anytime you've got super low visibility, glow can be a good option. But it can also scare fish away. If it's too bright uh, and the fish are finicky, you may want to scale back and not use the glow if it's not working. Um, UV, lots of guys believe in UV. Uh, you know, it's been proven to catch fish over other colors at certain times. Um, it's a great option to just change things up and see if it, if, if it works. Uh, and then shiny colors, metallics, silver, copper, gold, um, brass, those colors are my go-to. I mean, in clear water, if you've got finicky fish, those colors for whatever reason just seem to trigger fish. They got that flash, that little bit of reflection on them. They're a great option. That's usually what I start fishing with in clear water. So that's kind of the breakdown of colors and how they work. Experiment, buy all the fun stuff, and uh, make your tackle box look pretty. It's, it's a great time picking out colors, but you gotta know how to break them down into categories or it can be uh, very overwhelming. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you got some good information out of that video. If you wanna watch some more of my videos on tungsten jigs, they're right here. Check them out, lots more good information in there. So go ahead and pick up a couple new jigs and get hooked up guys. We'll see you next time.